नमस्कार आई एम अशोक व्यास एंड टुडे आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी अ सीन इन बिटवीन टू जायंट्स वन ऑफ कोर्स इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड अनादर जेंटलमैन हु यू सी हियर इज फिजिशियन एंड पब्लिशर एंड चेयरमैन ऑफ वर्ल्ड वाइड पारिक मीडिया एंड ऑल्सो नाउ चेयरमैन ऑफ आई टी वी गोल्ड ही इज इंडियन एडवोकेट हैज बीन एक्टिव पॉलिटिकली एंड ऑन सोशल फ्रंट and uh, in uh, many areas of philanthropy his heart beats and he acts and he acts in a way uh, which helps the community and now with uh, his leadership itv gold is moving uh, towards another dimension of serving our community i have the distinct pleasure and honor of welcoming dr sudhir parik padmashri dr sudhir parik to our studio namaste Swami namaskar sir. now when i say our studio actually it's your studio or we together when we sit it is our studio so let let me uh, begin uh, by requesting you to share your journey most of the time when we indian americans speak we remember the first day when we landed here do you distinctly remember when you came and what were the aspiration with which you came here well of course uh, i i left india in 1971 uh, as a doctor after being my complete completing my me me medical education and there uh, i was uh, i spent 4 years as a resident doctor at st bartholomew hospital which is like equivalent of ha harvard here and at that time uh, i was the only uh, indian not indian american but asian Amer asian doctor in that uh, hospital out of 600 uh, physician and it was very prestigious it was really great honor for me to work there and after 4 years working in england i came to usa and i joined the st luke's hospital as a resident doctor but since uh, i was uh, uh, at england at st bartholomew hospital uh, here uh, i got uh, i don't I did, i did not have to start from beginning and i was given very, uh, Third, third year position right away, and I completed my residency within two years, and then I did my specialization in asthma allergy and immunology for two years, and then I started my private practice and started acquiring practices, and now I'm the largest uh, asthma allergy immunology practice owned by one person in the country. Wow, that and calls for a clap, doctor. I'm just interrupting you so that we also. uh walk with you towards the parallel story which uh, is a part of your journey and that is each individual is given a different degree of talent or ability to grasp and retain knowledge and i think that is very important when you were studying in india or when you were in england right. or when you came right. here so from that point of view would you say this is something that is inbuilt or you get by birth or something on which you consciously worked uh let me summarize my question Uh, did you work on improving your concentration well i mean i'm always uh, even when i was young and in the college or medical school i was uh, i was a gold medalist uh, too and so i was always focused a very very driven and a very goal driven person uh, what i decide i always and, and and lucky little bit so i always end up getting what i was uh, dreaming about and uh, and i i always co completely consistently i kept my uh, hard working uh, attitude focus in the subject any subject i take and always honest and uh, i think uh, uh, hard work focus and honesty always pays off and that's what i think and it's my personal experience yeah and dr sudhir along with hard work focus uh, and honesty there is another element which is part of your personality that we have seen in the community and that is your appreciation and uh, not just admiration but imbibing uh, indian cultural values uh, and when you mention about you have always been goal driven would you uh, recollect any major influence in terms of someone whom you looked up to as your role model as you were uh, growing up Yes, I mean my teacher, my professor. Uh, there was one consultant, a WHO consultant, came from England to India. They they all uh, were my kind of uh, role model, and uh, I always believed that uh, uh, 
success, your own success is not good enough unless you give back uh, part of that success to the community or country or uh, motherland, then, then uh, that success has value. And, uh, and since uh, last 40 years, uh, I have always, when I was not very, I mean, uh, big uh, in my, our medical field, I, since then I'm, I'm trying to give, give back to the uh, commu uh, co country and community uh, one or other way, either it's a social, cultural uh, uh, cause or, uh, or even political initiative. And I don't know whether you are aware that uh, India caucus, which is now, you know that because of India caucus, US-India relation is big. And that India, I was uh, president of the organization called India uh, Political Forum, Indian American Political Forum. And we lobbied uh, Frank Pallone of New Jersey and Gary Ackerman of New York to start the India Caucus. And now look at this, now India Caucus it has grown big. 160, 70 mem uh, members, a Congress member, and it helps India so much. Because in early 80s, we, we, uh, I ex we experienced that a lot of uh, congressmen uh, uh, and, uh, and senators, they were anti-India. The second thing we did for India is U.S.-India nuclear deal. I was one of the core uh, uh, person who, under leadership of the ambassador Ronan Sen, we tried to convert and galvanize whole community and convert one by one uh, senators and congressmen for, pro, for India, for U.S. India nuclear deal. Even Hillary, uh, Senator Clinton and Senator Chuck Schumer, everyone was against us that time in 2004. And 2008, we, we made it history and make it, uh, did it under leadership of Ronan Sen. And that's a great achievement. Absolutely. And for that, I was recognized uh, for Padma Shri. And, and uh, also, uh, I always believed in social uh, philanthropy. I'm always there, whether it's a temple, whether, whether it's Gurudwara, or whether, whether it is a tsunami, or, and that's why I got uh, recognized by Government of India for Pravasi Bharti Samman. Absolutely. And before that, uh, I, I was Island. recognized as Ellis Island Medal of Honor. Yes. And uh, I mean, of course, a uh, lot of people do get Ellis Island Medal of Honor in the American now, but that time we are the f uh, initial first one, or uh, first few one. And the good, uh, the real honor is that today, if you go to Ellis Island, at the entr entrance of the museum, there is a two stone there, uh, uh, and and that stone, my name is there. Wow, cowed, and that's the Indian only Indian American name you will see there, which uh, uh, really it's a great honor, and it's going to be there forever. Absolutely. Dr. Sudhir Parikh. Publisher, India advocate, philanthropist, and physician, and the sole Indian American recipient of three of the most prestigious awards. The Pravasi Bharatiya Saman is an award constituted by the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs to honor exemplary NRIs. Year 2006's recipients included well known community leader and philanthropist and political activist Dr. Sudhir Parikh. The Ellis Island Medal of Honor celebrates the richness and diversity of American life. Six presidents, many senators, congressional representatives, and Nobel Prize winners are among the remarkable group of individuals who have received the Ellis Island Medal of Honor. Dr. Sudhir Parikh, he is devoted to advancing the political influence of the Indian American community. Padma Awards are India's highest civilian awards. The glittering ceremony was held at the Rashtrapati Bowen in the presence of the President of India, Prime Minister, Vice President and top dignitaries. The award was presented by President of India, Mrs. Pratiba Patil. Sudhir M. Parikh, Samajik Karya. Dr. Sudhir Parikh, internationally acclaimed physician, publisher, India advocate, and philanthropist. Dr. Sudhir Parikh not only preserved Indian culture and traditions on a foreign soil,
but also help strengthen relations between India and the United States with his established alliance on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Dr. Parikh makes history, attaining the three highest honors in the United States and India. He has created a legacy in the community for his multitude of recognitions and lifetime of service. sitting with you, uh, Dr. Zahab, and uh, there is a uh, richness uh, of inspiration which also helps us uh, increase the level of our consciousness. And when we hear from uh, people like Dr. Sudhir Parikh who have done so much and who are committed uh, like Karma Yogi to work uh, towards the betterment of the community as well as uh, bringing India and America uh, closer. Uh, how, uh, Dr. Shah, was um, your uh, focus at the time when you started uh, thinking not just as a physician but as an entrepreneur? As you were mentioning, you started acquiring practices. So, right. Uh, some one was there at the back of your mind whom you saw and you felt that this is the right way to go and now you are the biggest uh, individual. Right, we are the largest one. Uh, no, I mean, uh, when I started my f practice in 79, uh, within no time, because of my speciality, it was so the very far and few in the uh, tri-state area. So in no time, I got so busy um, uh, in my first practice in Hoboken. So then I decided that, no, I had to do something because uh, I don't want to be, this is dead end kind of, you know that okay well, uh, you're busy but, uh, but, but how much busy you can be and how much you can see w w as a one person. So I just, as a, just as a, uh, nobody gave me this idea. It, it came to my mind and I just uh, took our uh, director of uh, asthma allergy specialist and uh, I, 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 I selected uh, allergies who are 70 plus, 70 years of older and older and I wrote just cold letter to them that I want to expand my activities in your area. I would uh, 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 like to enter in a negotiation to acquire your practice. And but you can always continue as long as you want to continue working after you are selling your practice. Wow! So that was my first let cold letter to twelve allergists. I see. And out of twelve, two responded, and I acquired those two and then rest of the history. Now, now we have 18 practices in uh, New Jersey and six in New York, uh, three in Long Island, one in Queens, uh, one in Manhattan, one in Yonkers, and of course, uh, 18 practices in, uh, allergy practice in, uh, in New Jersey. So this is, I'm, I'm not an MBA, nobody taught me MBA, <laughs> how to do business, but uh, I think probably it's uh, so my we, vision and my, my thinking and whatever knowledge I have, you know. Absolutely. And this is incredible. Uh, you were a visionary in your own way. You could foresee something beyond that which was visible. Right. Now, here is another side of people's personality. Some people are scared of taking risks. Some people prefer to take calculated risks, but they take uh, too much time in uh, making up their mind. So, decision making is also important. In your case, Talk to me a little bit about your decision making uh, and your willingness to take risks. Well, I mean, see, uh, for example, uh, um, uh, I mean, buying medical practices is like a educated, informed risk. And we know, I mean, what, but it is risk in a sense, because you, when you're taking over some practices, practice can stay as it is and may go down. But my, my way of uh, treating uh, uh, doctors who sold practice to me, I always respected them. I always let them continue as long as they, they want to continue. And that way all the patients were very happy and transition was very smooth. Even in one practice, uh, uh, that when doctor stayed with me, he was supposed to stay with me two years by contract, but then he stayed for seven years and when he passed away, 
all patients were asking me that Dr. Parikh, are you going to take over this practice? But they didn't know for last seven years that I owned that practice. Right. But uh, because, so it means I never uh, kind of uh, f uh, make them feel that uh, who I'm the owner, I'm the boss. I never did that. I always respected the doctor, and uh, 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 and uh, that's I think that's a success. Uh, uh, good re I mean, main reason for success that you respect people they're always willing to help you and uh, now let's talk a little bit about Indian community from 70 in 70s to now indeed uh, we talked a little bit about political uh, uh, active uh, approach that you also had right. in the Indian caucus but in general uh, when you see people around you their approach their uh, uh, the living style and I remember even 15-20 years ago people talk about Indians and they think that they are cab drivers etc. So uh, about economic uh, trajectory that Indian Americans have taken, uh, how would you uh, define that? Well, I am very very glad to see because I have seen uh, this in uh, our uh, trajectory or uh, the progress of our community from um, way back, we came long way. And I think I'm very proud of community because co basically our community is educated community. They all are 80 percent uh, college graduates. So obviously they are more cultured, they are more knowledgeable, they are more um, uh, fluent in uh, language, uh, dealing with the other uh, uh, people of the country. So I think uh, it, it, it's, it's very kind of natural growth of the con uh, community. And now community came so long way that it's unbelievable. And plus, uh, in uh, uh, my involvement, I always felt that I always would like to help the community. So for example, uh, in 1991, when uh, uh, Vraj Temple was uh, kind of uh, in the process of uh, building, the, the trustee, all trustee came to me and they asked me, can you, uh, because that time our community was not that affluent. So people were not writing uh, donation that fast. So uh, they came to me and... Yeah, I uh, remember you uh, contributed nearly $151,000 at that time. That, that, time and pl uh, that time and within 10 minutes of conversation. I see. I see. Without asking anything in return. Mm. They, they were saying that, okay, we'll make you chairman now. Because the, in Nij Mandir, in the Vraj, it's, it's that my donation. It's beautiful. I have yeah. been there many times. And, and, and uh, that time, my other, uh, some, some of my doctor friends and other friends asked me, why you are giving so much money in uh, one time in uh, temple? I say I always believe that uh, unless you build a temple, you cannot continue your heritage. And if you cannot continue your heritage, your second generation and third generation will get lost. And I always believe, and I still today believe that uh, there should be a temple or gurudwara or church uh, everywhere, in uh, at least at least one or two in each town. Uh, to in order to continue your uh, culture and heritage whether you i don't believe in uh, too much rituals but uh, i believe in spirituality unless i mean you, uh, we, our community is very very educated have a high iq as compared to other communities but we should have a high sq too spiritual caution unless you have spiritual caution you cannot uh, survive uh, or cannot be successful as a as a whole human being in the life mm -hmm. Dr. Sudhir, uh, if I may ask you, you mentioned about spiritual uh, side of life. Uh, each one of us uh, understands spirituality in a unique way uh, relating to our own nature. So in your case, if you are to define the meaning of practical spirituality for you, what would that mean? Well, m m uh, <coughs> meaning uh, for me personally, the spirituality is to help the people, those who need help. For example, we have these 24 practices. And if anyone comes from India or anyone here, even those who are living here does not have money or insurance, we treat them free. Uh, number two, uh, I always believe that uh, wherever, uh, I mean, that's why I was involved in uh, uh, one of the uh, in founding of the API, American Association of the Physicians of Indian Origin. And through that organization, we did so much of uh, help, healthcare help to the India and Indian people back home. Same thing, I'm senior advisor to Share and Care, and every year we, we send at least few hundred thousand dollars to the India to help the needy people. 
and also I'm a senior advisor to Project Life. I'm a chairman of the Project Life U uh, USA, uh, where we uh, supply 30,000 blood transfusion to thalassemia people in Saurashtra. Plus, uh, we have 72 uh, elementary and middle schools there. Wow. And I'm involved in all those things. Plus, uh, my foundation has a, a cancer project, means uh, I, I do the cancer screening of, in Ahmedabad uh, for those who, who wants to get free. And then if they, uh, through the help of the uh, Gujarat Cancer Society, because I have a very good uh, I mean, uh, association with them, and, and, they, and if they, somebody get diagnosed with the cancer, we give 50 percent of their uh, uh, treatment free from my found, my own I personal see, foundation. See, see. So this is my spirituality. That, so that's what I I believe that's a spiritual. Ab thing. Absolutely. So um, as I would uh, quote what we hear, Manav Seva hi Madhav Seva. Right. So if you serve humanity, you are serving God. Right. So that that's that's beautiful. Um, and if I may also ask you your uh, impressions or inspiration that you have uh, uh, felt in the close proximity of some of the stalwarts in the spiritual uh, arena these days, whether it was uh, uh, Baps uh, Pramukhji Maharaj or Sri Sri Ravi Shankar or Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudeva right. or Ammachi or so any uh, one in particular, maybe one out of the four that I named or someone else who you feel close affinity towards or anybody's teachings that uh, I, I think um, um, uh, I don't I mean I, I know all those uh, four people you mentioned very closely and they all uh, time to time I'm uh, 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 in uh, connection with them and uh, whenever they need any help in USA I always uh, kind of try to provide them any help or any connections or any uh, their uh, philanthropic work here and there, but uh, I don't have one guru. I see. So, and I, I don't believe that uh, one person can be everything. That's true. Because I, I'm, I'm not looking for guru, I'm looking for their, their positive uh, uh, karma, hmm. which I can uh, help or I can be part of it. Very good. Uh, Sudhiji, I want to learn so much from you and maybe I think there are many viewers who would also like to learn from you, how do you manage to pack so many activities and stay deeply involved with even all that you have already mentioned and there is much more that is yet to come even in this conversation. Uh, so how you uh, lay out your day, how you design typically, uh, because everybody as we know has 24 hours and whatever maximum you can do in that. So. Uh, any special traits that you have at all? Only trade uh, in one sentence. If I say that, if you if you if you keep your priority in order, there is always time. So there is no shortage of time. Doesn't matter how busy you are. As you know, I I run 24 practices with 350 employees there. I have uh, four newspaper I own. Now I own uh, this I ITV Gold. Gold. Yes. Right, and I and do other social and philanthropic work. And uh, 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 with the FIA, parade, all those things. Uh, and still, uh, sometimes I feel that uh, I have time in my hand. Mm -hmm. So that shows that. Uh, <laughs> so, so that shows that it all depends upon your passion, your uh, genuine dedication to do something, and third thing is uh, 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 your priority. Mm -hmm. So if we talk about your priority. Um, it, it just comes to you that this is uh, my uh, set of priorities or you deeply think and then decide on long term priorities and short term priorities. Of course, I decide even day to day I decide my priorities. So and of course long term and short term but, uh, but usually I am the person who, who has good vision. I can see through a lot of things and that's why even I am a successful doctor but I, I'm also now a successful media person in a sense that uh, when I turned 60, uh, Baba Ramdev, Sri Ravi Sankar, Pramukh Swami, one that, one that Acharya Muniji from Virayat uh, Ashram, I asked one question to them that, you know, I, I become great grand benefactor of the temple. 
I founded uh, so many social and uh, professional organizations, including API. Uh, one of the founding members, I mean, and, and, and active in that thing. Now what? So he said, uh, you know, if you really want to empower second generation uh, or uh, our community, then you should uh, uh, acquire the media. And that's how I entered into media, because I had no idea or I had no knowledge or education of the journalism or uh, anything. But uh, then I, at that time, and, and I'm good at uh, seeing that vision, I mean, uh, see my vis seeing vision, plus I'm good at, uh, uh, our, I'm not afraid of uh, taking opportunities which is in my in front great privilege to uh, pay homage to Dr. Parekh for uh, having the spirit but also the actions that go with philanthropy. Uh, we are strong believers in karma and he's creating good karma for himself and for others as well. We're honoring him on this occasion because of all the things that he's done for the community. He works so hard and he provides health care to so many people and I'm just glad to be able to call him my friend. He stands out among equals as uh, a shining and, and, and brilliant light for uh, not only the Indian community here in the States, but for uh, as an American, as someone who's contributing mightily uh, to the, uh, the beauty of our country, the diversity of our country, and for the progress of our country. Atma ki prasinnata ya aapko har din prapto ho, har din naya surya aapke jeevan ko nai jagah dekhe. Vikas ki yatra aap ki yashasvi ho. Especially when we talk of India right, and uh, our culture and religion. So we wish you many more years of good health and active life to serve the society. I am requesting every Indi Indian to participate in philanthropy activity. This is also equally important. In this context, I really appreciate Sudhir M. Fare. He is doing extremely good work. And his mind, he will become the master of his mind and he will become younger. You know, we in politics, people always come up to us and say, oh, thank you for something good that happened. If it weren't for gentlemen like this, all of the goodwill of all of the people wouldn't happen because he puts it into action. I assure you that we will have a good 30 years ahead of us. We're going to work good. Good help. I The Pravasi Bharatiya Saman is an award constituted by the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs. And the next award is conferred on Dr. Sudhir Pani. That, that time, when I, that time Gopal, Gopal Raju passed away, same year when I, I turned 60. So I said, this is the best opportunity to take over. And now that those uh, four newspapers, they are now number one in the country and very successful, both uh, uh, to help the people, community, plus uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of standing by its themselves. Mm -hmm. And then when this opportunity yeah. came... So, so before coming to this opportunity, going back to the previous opportunity of uh, being uh, owner or chairman of uh, worldwide uh, Parikh Media, right. uh, which successfully runs four uh, publications, uh, newspapers and magazines. Right. Uh, so, what did you learn in the process of uh, working in the media? Uh, and if I may ask you, it was something new for you, I believe. So you must have uh, figured out uh, certain ways which would make 
it a successful uh, venture. Yes, yes, because uh, I'm, uh, I'm a visionary in a sense that even though I don't have sub knowledge of that subject, I can, I can catch uh, and I can learn very fast. So I saw that uh, the, there is opportunity here. Uh, and there is a way to turn, a, turn it around. And I always uh, uh, trust people. I delegate the things. And, I, I, uh, and I, when I took over the newspaper business, I don't spend more than two hours per week in that, uh, that uh, whole thing. I see. Every, every week. So people may think that I'm, uh, I must be bogged down with this thing every day. No. Because I leave it to the professionals to run the whole thing. Sure. And as long as uh, they follow, and I discuss my vision, my guideline, and, and as long as they follow, I trust them 100%. And, and, and I think for any successful business, you have to, you have, to have vision, you, have to have deleg uh, you, you must know how to delegate, and you must trust the people and, if, and respect the people. And if you do that, re in return, you get everything. Um, I have so many questions, uh, Dr. Zahab, for you, but uh, allow me to sidetrack slightly and go with you to India while you were a part of the delegation of President Clinton and later on you also uh, were with, Obama. In, yeah. with President Obama. So when <coughs> you go back to India as Indian-American, uh, and indeed you are an Indian um, to the core of your heart, so how was that experience and what did you observe? Uh, which you would say was impressive in President Clinton or President Obama? Well, I think uh, I, I, I went to with President Clinton twice when he was uh, president in year 2000 as an official visit to India. I was one of the delegate. And uh, second time I went with President Clinton uh, when the Gujarat earthquake happened to help the earthquake victims and uh, rehabilitation. And both time, uh, I mean, we, uh, well, I, I was very impressed with the President Clinton. He was very sharp, very knowledgeable, very focused person. And um, uh, we, we walked almost six hours in, uh, in Anjar at 120 degree temperature. Wow. I mean, I can walk because I'm Indian at the, at the end of the day. But even President Clinton walked with us to show the, to see the whole, uh, uh, earthquake, uh, what, what the situation is. And that time, under his leadership, um, we form, formed the one found, uh, organization called American India Foundation, and we raised $50 million to support Gujarat earthquake victims. Wow. So that shows, uh, uh, that's my experience with the President Clinton. I was very impressed. I learned a lot from him. Uh, and the uh, same thing with the Obama, uh, when we went with the President Obama, that time also, uh, of course, that time I already had uh, media with me, so I was kind of uh, 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 had a different uh, perspective of a whole uh, visit, and I really learned quite a bit. And both presidents, they were they were very smart, very articulate, very helpful, and you can you can learn a lot out of uh, with them. So talking about learning and uh, looking at uh, the image of. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is smiling with you. What did you tell him that made him laugh? Uh, uh, this is a lighter yes. question. But the bigger part is, uh, how do you feel under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the way India is emerging, anything in particular where you feel as uh, an Indian American, as someone, a part of the media publishing as well as uh, television in America, in New York, how uh, can you uh, work with Indians. Well, he, he's, a, he's a great Prime Minister. I mean, it's the best thing happened to India. And um, the way he has a vision, the way he implements a vision, the way he tries to bring the uh, country to the next uh, level. And also, when I met him last August, um, uh, he, oh, I suggested that I would like to start a think tank, think tank. US-India think tank. And with his blessing, uh, we started that. Parikh Worldwide Media started that think tank, and we are now publishing every quarterly a magazine called in, uh, India Global Review, where all the experts in the different field they write about what is US, uh, their opinion about U.S. India relation on different subjects, politics, economics, everything. And um, Prime Minister Modi was very very happy to see that, and whole idea behind uh, even. Uh, continuing or getting the TV, 
a uh, digital uh, platform is to to promote again uh, quote unquote new india and that's a pet uh, initiative of uh, prime minister modi and staying in india with you for a while uh, the moment when you were walking up from your chair to receive padma shri award in the rashtrapati bhavan uh, president pratibha patel right. was there at that time what, what was your feeling uh, and how was that moment do you recollect anything or it yes, was yes yes yeah. that moment was a, a great experience i mean uh, because uh, uh, you feel that wo, i mean not because we, we, we when we were doing the things for india or uh, us india relation or philanthropy we are not expecting that at uh, some day i will be coming into this uh, historical asoka bhavan in the rashtrapati bhavan in asoka hall yes, yes. where the independence was given mount betan given independence in that same spot so there i will be standing and receiving honor from the president of india and that was a great feeling and that was ultimate um, reward and so i always tell people that uh, i mean don't worry you may not get uh, the ultimate reward but keep doing something some day you may get something uh, out of it i mean you, people will appreciate you absolutely yeah. and they also say that your work is a reward in itself so right. the the opportunity and not only that but that day uh, when i was walking to receive the uh, uh, padma shri uh, the people were clapping was prime minister of india vice president of india wow all the all the senior cabinet minister were all were sitting there and uh, they were clapping and that that's the real uh, ultimate uh, satis satisfaction Absolutely. yeah yes yes we, we i'm delighted to hear that moment and i saw some of the visuals uh, in the video right. which we also sharing uh, with our viewers uh, now coming back to uh, other important uh, aspect of life which is family life and right. family relations are important in overall uh, satisfaction as well as giving meaning to life and with the kind of uh, attention demanded uh, from you on various fronts have you managed to stay close to your family yes, members yes very much uh, I, uh, i mean i can i can i can say very confidently that i have very balanced uh, life i give enough time to my uh, children both are turn out to be very good uh, my daughter is uh, also like me a smileology specialist and practicing with me and uh, my son is a uh, uh, eye surgeon or ophthalmologist from wow. yale university and so i feel very good and i feel uh, good about it because i think i uh, give them in a, uh, right training and right uh, uh, vision to complete their own career no vision and family and then we come towards um, itv gold so itv gold has been like a family and as uh, most of our viewers are aware as well as you know that dr banard vishwanath and satya vishwanath nearly four decades ago thought that indian community should have their own platform that's how vision of asia came into being and which grew and became itv gold 24 hour uh, what is your vision and why uh, you felt that uh, uh, this should become a part of um, worldwide parik media because i think uh, dr visona late dr visona and mrs visona when started in 75 or 76 um, uh, this vision of asia right i think it was very commanding uh, initiative because they they real uh, that time they realized when the community was very small community was struggling community was poor economically speaking they knew that uh, this is the platform where you can uh, community can grow through this platform and community can connect with each other and i must command them and i must salute them for that and uh, then they can convert into this uh, 24/7 channel and uh, i think uh, i'm lucky and fortunate and uh, to have this uh, channel uh, and and again uh, my this uh, media thing and channel thing and all those thing is a passion is not my business i i don't rely on this thing so uh, <laughs> so this is this is a pure passion 
and pure uh, community service. Because uh, as I say, after 60, I, uh, I was told that uh, if you want to really leave the legacy for your community service, this is the way to do it. And uh, I think uh, the advice was correct. And that's why, uh, I mean, we have this new newspaper, we have magazine, but I think uh, this was uh, the, uh, of course, digital or, or visual uh, television, which is very, very important in the whole thing, uh, media uh, picture. Puzzle. So uh, I got an opportunity, and I uh, I'm lucky that I I took the opportunity. We are lucky that we have someone who is visionary who would be leading ITV Goal, and hopefully we will have uh, more uh, new ways of reaching out to our viewers with uh, even uh, better uh, content with innovative approach. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the way you perceive the role that ITV Goal can play. Uh, in near future and the way you perceive the present state of yes, the channel. So ITV goal should be um, uh, much more community oriented, number one. We are going to take ITV goal into different uh, platforms, including uh, digital platform, is, uh, uh, including uh, internet platform, including uh, mobile platform. Because now the future is mobile platform and, um, and that's what we're going to take ITV to. Of course, uh, current platform will continue, but uh, we'll expand that current platform and we'll also take it to the mobile platform. That's why, that's how we can become worldwide. Uh, once it goes on the mobile platform, internet platform, right? So that's our uh, goal is, and uh, hopefully we'll achieve it. Absolutely. And I just uh, by the way, and very briefly speaking, I have been a part of Indian media also before coming to America. And at All India Radio, we used to hear about the combination of education and entertainment, so information and entertainment. So, do you see um, entertainment sometimes takes away uh, that element uh, which would connect community to culture? So, that's why the balance uh, balance is very good because um, uh, we need uh, the, this TV medium uh, we should use for education. We, we, we should use to promote uh, even speech, uh, teach the spirituality and also show the uh, history and, uh, and uh, happening in uh, mother, um, back home. That way second generation have some bonding. See we all first generation have great bonding with the India, but second generation, they love India, they love Indian food, but I'm not sure how much deep bonding they have. And that bonding to create, uh, I think this kind of medium is, is essential. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Sudhir I appreciate you uh, generously sharing all about uh, your life, uh, your uh, thought process, and somewhere also uh, the secret of your success. Uh, honesty, hard work, focus and also uh, the ability to see the opportunity and seize the opportunity. Um, as we conclude our conversation, if you want to say something directly to the viewers of ITV Gold as uh, chairman uh, of Worldwide uh, Parik Media and ITV Gold now, um, your words for our viewers directly. Well, I mean, uh, I would uh, welcome all the uh, viewers of the ITV Gold. Um, and um, as a new management, uh, is my responsibility and my pledge to all of you that will take the ITV Gold to the next level and make it proud of uh, community and uh, will connect the community and second generation to the uh, 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 community here as well as uh, uh, Mother India and that's my uh, promise and I'm sure I will be able to do it. Wonderful. Uh, we, we are there to help you succeed uh, Dr. Sudhir Parikh Padma Shri. Uh, he's also um, Sir uh, Dr. Sudhir Parikh as was awarded knighthood. Uh, there is so much uh, with uh, this physician, uh, philanthropist, uh, public advocate and of course now a media mughal uh, of sort uh, with a unique position to serve the community through media. Uh, we appreciate uh, his presence with lots of good wishes sir. Thank you. Thank you very Namaskar. much. Uh, thanks to Dr. Parikh and thanks to all of you for being with us. This is a show. And, uh,
now as you are aware, uh, Dr. Sudhir Parekh has also acquired ITV Gold. You have observed Indian media and anything in particular that you would may like to suggest him that this role should be played by media, starting with this senior gentleman. Well, that I fully agree with you because media is the one who is supposed to or responsible to propagate our sapna. Any event you do, media is the most responsible. They are the one propagate all our messages out to our community. So media is the first. Yes, I agree. So, Asukji, so, yeah, one thing I would say, the media in the U.S. is completely opposite from the media in India. We saw all positivity, and which is very good. And I want to uh, wish uh, ITV all the best at the keep continuing doing such a wonderful job and people like you with them I will say they will be very successful thank you, thank you very much, and, and all the best to my friend Dr. Sudhir Parik who just acquired ITV and Sudhir Parik will be in close consultation with me thank you a quick question in the presence of Dr. Sudhir Parik uh, Padma Shri uh, Dr. Sudhir Parik uh, of course uh, has um, not just demonstrated, proven his entrepreneurship skills also, along with being a physician. And now, uh, in addition to print media, his um, uh, being chairman of ITV Gold. Uh, in his presence, I would like you uh, to share your views on what way you expect Indian media here uh, to be performing their role. Any expectation, what have you observed so far? You know, first, I would just like to quote uh, Dr. Parikh's words today that he said that he has uh, taken over ITV Gold, but this, uh, this is for the community, that this television channel will be uh, broadcasting or covering community events. I think the community here is so big, and I think it's a myth that people don't want to know or learn about what's happening in the community. And uh, there are so few channels, so few uh, media who cover what is happening in the community. And you will be surprised to see the outreach of the community, newspapers, channels, people from all over uh, read them, listen to them. Because I am myself surprised that uh, when I go out, I meet people who know me, because, but I have never met them. And that is because of the, of the coverage of the television and, and newspaper. So I think it is a strength, it is underutilized. Uh, companies have underutilized it, uh, advertisers have underutilized it, and I think there is a need for uh, all to get together and, and channelize and leverage the strength of this ethnic media in the United States. So Asukji, so, yeah, one thing I would say, the media in the US is completely opposite from the media in India. We saw all positivity, and which is very good. And I want to uh, wish uh, ITV all the best, and they co keep continuing doing such a wonderful job. And people like you with them, and I will say they will be very successful. Thank you. Well, uh, <clears throat> I'm a Gujarati, and I'm very proud Gujarati. I feel so great that uh, all of my uh, uh, friends are celebrating uh, Gujarat Day, and it's a really thrilling experience. And. Um on Gujarat's Sthapna Divas, uh, when you internally look and there is some additional commitment to propagate uh, Gujarati culture or the spirit of Gujarat, anything uh, from the media, uh, print as well as television? Well, I mean, uh, as you know that uh, this uh, print media and uh, television, ITV now I acquired, this is all my community, part of the community service and my goal is to promote the culture of the Gujarat uh, initiative of the Gujarat, help the government of Gujarat, and uh, <clears throat> and also uh, help and uh, uh, propagate uh, uh, all the philosophy of New India.